Myanmar, Croatia, Cuba, Cyprus, Czech Republic, Ecuador, Egypt. Delegates and most honorable chair. Guyana is very honored to attend the Thymian 2011, 2011 conference. We look forward to looking with, we look forward to working with fellow delegates in order to combat the many problems the world faces today. We hope to make a lot of progress this week by passing many successful and positive resolutions. We especially look forward to dealing with the problem of human trafficking. Guyana, as well as many other countries, faces this problem, and the delegation of Guyana hopes to see some res resolutions that will better the situation. We are looking forward to a successful week. Thank you. English delegates. In the last decade, India has truly taken a stance on tackling the various crimes occurring within its boundaries. The organized crime and gangs of Mumbai, the illicit drug, arm, and human trafficking, the ever-growing credit card fraud, and money laundering of India have not only raised awareness within the country, but also in the international community as a whole. Despite India's rapid economic development, it is necessary to keep in mind that our country is facing pressing problems such as significant overpopulation, environmental degradation, extensive poverty, and widespread corruption. Mohammed Gandhi once said, all crime is a form of disease and should be treated as such. As the representative of a country struggling with ongoing crime, India calls upon the international community to help us treat this life-threatening disease to find a cure that would improve the lives of millions. Thank you, Mr. President. Chair, fellow delegates, distinguished guests. As the fourth most populous country in the world, Indonesia recognizes its unique position as an emerging nation. Indonesia is at a pivotal point in its development, especially given the recent consideration of being included in the Big Four, or BRIC group, of rapidly expanding nations. However, despite economic growth and wealth of natural resources, Indonesia is still experiencing rampant poverty. As such, the nation supports resolutions that will increase industry and jobs to mitigate the effects of impoverishment. Indonesia is aware that collaboration is essential to fight poverty, and therefore Indonesia's motto of unity and diversity will be a guiding principle for the conference and for the future. These are dynamic times for the nation, and as a leader of Southeast Asia, Indonesia hopes to become a central figure of the industrialized world. Thank you. The delegation of Ireland regretfully admits that the Irish banking sector last year not only led to a financial and social crisis in the country, but also put the EU into an unsolicited jeopardy. Therefore, Ireland graciously thanks the country who supported the bailout package. Furthermore, Ireland sees a tighter cooperation between countries necessary to solve international issues such as the Korea conflict. Regarding that mentioned matter, Ireland sends out its condolences to the South Korean families and to the country for the loss of the soldiers who have been unrightfully killed by unwarranted saber rattling by North Korea. At this time, it is of great importance to, pre to prevent further disputes and even a second war. Such incidents show that it, is, that it is essential to present us, members of the UN, together as a strong international community. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I feel excited to be a part of this year's General Assembly in Thailand. As always, Israel is dedicated to fruitful and prolific debate, and as well as an eventual contribution to solving these pressing world issues. Israel is, however, particularly interested in the issue of dismantling the blockade of the Gaza Strip. Uh, Israel is convinced that a compromise must and will be reached between all of the parties concerned in this issue, um, while still keeping in mind Israel's legality in all of its actions. Um, and its paramount concern is self-defense and the lives of its citizens. Additionally, Israel is involved in an investigation of its practices affecting the human rights <clears throat> of the Palestinian people and other Arabs of the occupied territories. Israel is taking a balanced approach in an attempt to aid the people suffering without jeopardizing national security. The, delegate, um, the delegation is prepared for five days of a conference that is sure to produce results or, at the very least, Pave the way for the right future. Thank you very much. Thank you, distinguished guests. 2011. In 2011, we are presented with a myriad of problems to face, countless more crises to solve, and an untold number of fires to put out. 
In 2011, we have madmen causing the deaths of entire populations, natural disasters destroying the lives and homes of thousands, and the constant threat of nuclear Armageddon by rogue states. But in 2011, we gather here this cold week in January to make a change. We come here to make a stand. This week, we will attempt to solve issues ranging from the unstable, unpredictable, and erratic nature of North Korea's nuclear program to curbing the spread of terrorism and LADCs, while being serious issues that are pertinent to the lives of all. But how do you stop a nation or an organization that is so unreasonable to negotiations, so unsusceptible to change, and so unable to solve the problems and issues within its own borders? By solving any problem with the letters UN in front of it, the UN, United Nations. To delegates, the delegation of Lebanon urges you all to remain ardent and open in cooperation and compromise throughout this week to solve the matters at hand. Thank you. TAs and honorable delegates, distinguished guests, I'm proud to stand before you today as a representative for Lithuania, and even prouder as a member of the UN. When Lithuania finally succeeded in getting independence from Soviet Russia, the UN had already been birthed in the embers of hope and the dawn of a new age. Where Lithuania prospered and its land sprung to life, the UN sparked and ignited the good of humanity. It lifted our world from the aftermath of World War II and I welcomed every nation with open arms. We began to strive for the greater good, for equality and freedom, for fraternity and unity, for peace. These are core values that we all continue to pursue. Delegate, since the birth of the UN, our world is in many ways a better place. Together we battle hunger in the poorest countries and we strive to eliminate crime. We educate today's children and look after those of yesterday. However, our work is far from done. It's Lithuania's belief that the potential for great success lies in the creation and fostering of stronger international links. Our foreign policy dedicates itself to better transatlantic relations and to contribute our best to our EU and UN membership. A friend of Lithuania, Luciano Pavrati, once said, The rivalry is within ourselves. I try to be better than is possible. I fight, I fight against myself, not against the other. Delegates, we hope that his and our words will honor and inspire our honor. The UN provides us all a place where we can call each other family. Will the delegate please come to his concluding remarks? As long as our work never tires, we will have that place called home. Ladies and gentlemen, Zong Dev Yuan, those core values will always be there for us to pursue. Thank you. Thank you, Delhi. Please exit from the right. Well, the United Nations was founded 65 years ago to promote the values of democracy, diplomacy, and world peace. With more or less success, the United Nations has always been present to fight poverty, aid populations affected by natural disasters, promote human rights, and aspire to free the world from the dangers of war and nuclear weapons. Luxembourg feels that it is essential that all nations find multilateral solutions Global, global cooperation to overcome all the conflicts that trouble the world and require urgent and collective responses. All nations, including the USA, should refrain from acting unilaterally. Furthermore, member states must use more ethical and moral diplomacy since many member states in recent internet revelations seem to lack tact. Luxembourg would like to note with great concern the threat that both local and international terrorism poses to the world. Terrorist acts are heinous and unjustifiable regardless of their motivation and they violate human rights and the rule of law. Luxembourg calls upon all member states uh, to fully cooperate to end this terrorist scourge. In conclusion, we'd like to stress that the question of freedom, democracy and human rights in all the countries of the world are the keys to building a new, efficient and constructive multilateralism. Thank you. Honorable PGA, um, ladies and gentlemen, if there is anyone out there who doubts that fair punishment of any crime is possible, who wonders if the problems the world is facing in the 21st century can ever be solved, who questions the power of the United Nations, let this very conference be the answer. We, all nations, have a long road ahead of us, and maybe the steepest and longest ever seen. No one nation can walk this road alone. Not Russia, not China, not the United States of America, not even mighty Malta will be able to walk this road alone. This is the time when we have to join hands and we have to show that we have never been just a collection of nations. We are and always will be the United Nations. Thank you.